Hi there, this is Matthew Connor, Vice President of ERP Solutions at Peloton. Today we're going to show you how to use two fantastic inquiries within the general accounting modules. We're going to start first with the account monitor and then go to the account inspector. To access them, you'll go to your general accounting tab and go to your general accounting dashboard. The account monitor itself is designed to create active searches. So tell me if something's happening and then show me if something else is going to happen behind it. So what we have here is we have our account monitor. And the first thing we'll do is let's show you how easy it is to go in and edit or create one. So we'll go to view account group edit. And what we'll see here is we have our description here. In this case, travel entertainment expenses, budget versus actuals. We're able to define the time option in a specific accounting period, a quarter or a year. How do we want to compare this? Do we want to compare it against our budget or do we want to compare it against actuals for a specific period, uh, quarter to date, year to date? Um, we can also change the scenarios there. Instead of budget, we could also use uh, forecast and then access. Do you want this to be for you? Do you want this to be for everybody or do you want to share it with specific people? Okay. So once we have that piece, what we do is we take our segments of the chart of accounts and we define what we want in there. And that can be at the lowest level of the hierarchy or it can be parent, uh, a parent child. And we decide, do we want this to display always or do we want to show this if, hey, we want to see if revenue decreases by a specific percentage or uh, expenses increase by a specific amount. You can define whatever criteria for you uh, for this and what you want. So we'll go ahead and cancel out of this. And we'll go back then to the account monitor. I'm going to change my period here to so have a little better data. And what we have first is I'm looking at this and go, okay, this is helpful, but I'm going to use my query by example line. I'll click enter. And now I see a roll up of my travel and expenses for various departments, HCM, finance, total sales. And I go, wow, you know what? These amounts have really gone up here. And um, but I want to look at this one here because that's where the most uh, expenses are for my sales. Anywhere where I see a hyperlink means I can drill down. So let's drill down and see the details. I've drilled in here now. I see the various pieces here. If I hold my, my mouse over it, um, it'll show up and it'll give me a description. I can also go here and add my account description. And now if I'm looking at this, I go, okay, well, this is helpful, but you know what? I want a visualization. I'm a visual person. So I click on show graphs. Now I'm able to see this data here in my account monitor. I'm able to see it as a graph. 46% of my um, uh, expenses is due to 60,512. That's airfare. Let's see what the breakdown is for my various cost centers. Once again, I'm drilling down because there's a hyperlink. And I go, wow, it's pretty even distribution. But let's look at the actual details behind this 35,256. I click on it. This takes me to my inquiry on detailed balances. Also a fantastic inquiry. We won't show that today in detail, but fantastic inquiry. Now I'm drilling down and I'm actually able to see the subledger detail. So what are the actual transactions making this up? Since this is expenses, I drilled down all the way down to the actual expense report. I even can see the receipt or in this case, baby pandas. That's not kosher with accounting, but baby pandas are cute. So this is how the account monitor, this idea of managing by exception, tell me if something happens, then go and manage it. Let's go back up and go in and show the account inspector. So the account inspector is very similar because of SBase, um, the database being a cube. This is like a pivot table real time within the application. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually go and I want to see a roll up of my travel accounts. So I'm going to select my travel accounts. I'm going to click refresh here. Then I'm going to pull in this account, the 60,512, and I can expand it. So I see my sales uh, cost centers across the left. I see my uh, travel pieces here across the top. And now remember that 35,256? I can take this and I can drill down into that detail there. Now the real power of this inquiry here, this uh, account inspector, is I can change my point of view to see different things. So if I'm reconciling at the end of the month and I don't want to see period activity and maybe I'm looking at revenue and I want to see all the debits to revenue, I can do this, I can change this, and the, the activity there is reflected. 
You can also take this inquiry and export this to Excel. Um, now, it's a static when you send it, so just send this data. If you need to um, work with the data and want to be connected to the database, this is where we would use SmartView. Check out our other video about how to utilize SmartView for inquiries for more information on that. So this is Matthew Connor, Vice President of ERP Solutions at Peloton, um, showed you today the account monitor and the account inspector. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.